Hey guys, a friend of mine uh, asked me to post a video of how we've been using the MyLoop for our hypermature lenses. Uh, so uh, here we go. Uh, clearly what you can see in the video is a leathery brown hypermature cataract. This patient also happens to be monocular. And uh, my goal was to try and keep our incisions as small uh, as possible and still get this cataract out with as little uh, phacal energy as possible. So we're using Tripan Blue to stain the capsule. And I'm going to try and make this capsularexis, you know, as large as we safely can. And luckily in these leathery brown cataracts, we don't usually have to deal with the intralenticular pressure and that, uh, that feared Argentinian flag sign. So here you can see we've got a decent capsularexis and we're going to do our usual hydrodissection. Typically these lenses move pretty well. Now what we're going to do is start by using FACO, and this is a, a little bit of an, a more aggressive sculpt setting, and I'm just trying to sculpt maybe into the middle of the, the lens. You know, I don't need to go super deep, but a decent groove, so we are using a little bit of FACO energy here. And once I get as deep of a, of a groove as I think I can get, we're going to use the, the My Loop. Now the My Loop, as you may know, is a, a night and all loop. Uh, it's going to be able to go into the capsular bag and we're going to open that in the bag and then sweep the the my loop all the way from the the right side to the left so here we're carefully opening up that that night null loop and i am being very cautious to make sure that i am keeping that loop relatively centered in the capsular bag and now i'm starting a sweep in a couple minutes and right there you can see that night null loop sweep behind the lens. Now a problem that we often have in mature lenses is the the my loop tends to rotate the lens forward. So by having that groove already made and using the my loop in that groove, there's not as much of the lens for the my loop to cut through. And you can see here, although it is still very leathery and it doesn't really want to come through, we're able to separate that posterior plate. And that initial groove made that a lot easier and I think it's a little bit more friendly to the Zonules. Now we'll rotate the lens 90 degrees, we'll extend the loop again, and we're going to once again rotate the loop uh, to the left, and then once I, I feel like it's pretty much in the middle of that lens, we'll constrict the loop, and then we'll automatically have that lens subdivided into four pieces. And you know, I really think that even in these mature lenses, once you can get the, the lens subdivided into a couple smaller pieces, then fake emulsification can take over and you're not going to use nearly as much energy as when you're just in that eye forever trying to get that lens into two, three, or four pieces. So there's our second pass with the MyLoop, and you can see I'm using that second instrument to hold the lens fragments down and coax that loop through those posterior fibers. Still not real easy, but a whole lot easier than if we had not pre-fragmented or, or sorry, pre-grooved the lens. Now that the lens is out, the phaco emulsification is you know, relatively straightforward. You, you can see these quadrants come out very nicely. Yes, we're still using a fair amount of phaco energy, but not nearly as much as, as you would use if you didn't pre-fragment with the, the MyLoop device. So this is now the way that I've been doing almost all of our hypermature lenses. It saves me time. Uh, it saves us energy. It saves us endothelial cells. We use less irrigating fluid. And all in all, I think this this uh, hypermature cataract probably took about 15 minutes in total from start to finish. And uh, I've seen, even you know, with myself operating, I've seen CDEs of 60, 70. I've even had a couple where we were approaching 100. But with pre-fragmentation of the lens using my loop, we really can use a lot less phaco energy for these dense lenses. Cortical cleanup is pretty much a snap with the my loop as well as with mature lenses. All that's left now is to seal up the wounds. So with our use of my loop, we've been able to increase our efficiency in the OR and decrease our energy use. And as you can see here, we, we were able to remove this mature lens with a CDE under 35. Thanks so much for watching.